Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Clearview Clubhouse. I'm Miss Simone from Clearview Federal Credit Union. I am the community and events uh, coordinator here, and I'm so happy to be able to welcome you back to the Clearview Clubhouse. Uh, this is going to be our last Clearview Clubhouse event for the summer of 2021. So we're so happy you guys all joined us uh, this summer. We hope you have a wonderful school year, a uh, wonderful fall, and hopefully we'll see you back again um, out and about at different events. Uh, we're planning to do some more fun things with the Clearview Clubhouse as we uh, go forward. Uh, but today we have a really, really fun, fun book. It's actually probably my favorite book from all the Clearview Clubhouse because it's got a lot of really good ideas in it. And I get to welcome back my friend, Miss Karen from the Adams Memorial Library in Latrobe. She's gonna be our storyteller again today. Uh, she's gonna be reading our book, Kane's Big Picture. So I'm gonna turn it over to Miss Karen. Thank you, thank you very much. So today's story, as Miss Simone said, is Kane's Big Picture by Michael Fernandez Jr. It's an intro to entrepreneurship for kids. And it says on here, create, earn, save and invest and if you don't know what entrepreneurship means you'll find out by the end of the story so this is kane kane loves sketching drawing and painting there is nothing else he found more entertaining he would sketch giraffes on rollerblades draw little red lizards he was really great at painting left-handed wizards at the beach or the park, anywhere he would go. Whether Kane was drawing or painting, he was putting on a show. Kane was usually good in class, but one day he got into trouble. Instead of paying attention, he drew an alligator blowing bubbles. Kane told his mommy and daddy, I promise to focus in class. It's my first time getting into trouble, but also my last. He drew a dog for Juliana, painted Weston a shark. Kane gave them the pictures after school in the park. That might be better than during school. <laughs> the swings and slides emptied, kids came running fast. Kane, how much for a picture? The kids at the playground ask. Now everybody wants one. At lunchtime the next day, the cafeteria was buzzing. Everyone wanted a picture. The orders came in by the dozen. Kane's going to be busy. They loved the picture so much they showed everyone at school. It was at this very moment Kane learned a golden rule. Here's the golden rule he learned. Create something you're proud of with passion and skill. Give people what they love and you're sure to excel. Kane painted a three-toed sloth and a birthday cake that looked yummy. Two princesses for Isabella and for Bryson, a dancing mummy. The orders kept coming in and the money did too. He started saving every penny stashed in a box from his old shoes. He wasn't being greedy. Kane wanted to invest. His new art kit would help make his pictures the best. So that's what he's going to use the money for to buy new art supplies. We can make even better pictures. Sometimes Kane made $2 and sometimes he made four. Although the money was great, the smiles were worth so much more. See, Kane loves what he does on rainy days or when it's sunny. The key is happiness. True happiness is not from money. It started off as a hobby. Painting pictures was his passion. Kane turned his art into a business with custom paintings and even fashion. Hey, he's making t-shirts too with his art. Kane imagines a world that's covered in his art where anything is possible if it comes from your heart.
Kane loves drawing, but what about you? Here's some business ideas that you could do. Delilah's mom helps her in their garden. They love growing veggies and fruit. Delilah saw an opportunity and set up a local delivery route. So if she didn't want to draw, she's out delivering vegetables to people. And Liam loves doggies. He would walk them all day if he could. He started a dog walking service for all of his neighborhood. Skylar enjoys making bracelets with colorful beads and twine. She started selling them at yard sales and now she has a shop online. Darrell had a passion for cars. Wash every car was his goal. He started a car wash business and he posted signs on every pole. Those are all good ideas. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Karen. I really, really like that book because it does give you some great ideas of different things that you can do to start a business. And if you'll look in your uh, email later this week, we're going to have a, a fun worksheet that will help you kind of come up with ideas of what you could do that you're really passionate about and that you really like to start your own business and the different ways that you can do that. What you would name your business, would you make a logo for your business? How would you market your business? How would you tell people about it? It's so fun and uh, we really hope you enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for joining us again in the Clearview Clubhouse. We were so happy to have you all summer long. We hope you have a wonderful rest of your year. Have a great day. Bye friends.